welcome to the paper snob this is tara today i am working on the prompt for scrap timber for day four today's prompt is a double page layout i have some photos here of my family where we attended or went to a renaissance fair in tennessee those photos were taken in 2016. i have one of my hip kits sitting here to use as the papers and embellishments. I'm using these papers. And then I have a whole bunch of embellishments here to play with. I also pulled in an alpha from an older hip kit. It's got a lovely um, shade of purple that actually matches the purple in this kit. So I'm gonna pause this video. I'm gonna get started. We'll be right back. So as always, when I'm doing a two page layout, I tend to um, tape it down to my mat. That way, if I am putting a piece of paper, like I'm gonna be doing with this one, in the middle of it, I can line up both sides on each side of the double page layout. So, I am playing with this trimmer. My husband just worked on this trimmer for me and it turned out um, it was tearing up paper and it turned out that my blade was notched. So I switched out the blade and voila, it's fixed. So you can kind of see where I tore up one of those background papers taking the branding strip off initially but once it got a new blade on it it's all good so I'm going to be putting the larger side on the right and the smaller side on the left and then I'm going to take the um, green floral paper and I'm going to put it on either side as well and I'm going to cut it down I believe I cut it down to six by nine for each piece so here I am I'm going to be cutting it in half with my trimmer and then I'm going to cut down a couple of inches off each end and then I'll have two six by nine pieces so I'm just trying to put color up for on each side, kind of making it a little bit mirrored. Although, as you can see, I did make the navy blue pattern paper is less, it is larger than it is on the right. And that's because I am planning on putting more photos, or I was planning on putting more photos on the right than I did on the left, but in the end, I. I end up putting two on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and line these up where I want them to go. And initially, it doesn't quite look the way that I would like it to look. So I'm kind of playing around here and notice that one of my photos isn't quite four by six and that's because I have to trim it down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and pull in these are pieces of cardstock from hip kit they're double-sided and they're actually patterned um, there's a texture pattern on one side and the other side has a, a different pattern i think you'll be able to see the other side when i flip it over to adhere it down to the page but i'm going to go ahead and take off the branding strips first or maybe not maybe i'm just gonna nope taking off the branding strip first couldn't remember for sure if that's what i did taking off that branding strip and now I'm going to cut down six and a quarter by four and a quarter and I'm having trouble with the gutter on this again this trimmer is starting to make me crazy but I'm going to cut down four of the mats they're going to be four and a quarter by six and a quarter i'm going to have a couple little tiny slivers left over but that's okay i did pull out both pattern or pieces of paper but i'm only going to end up using one since i only have four photos for this layout all right next steps i'm going to go ahead and get these photos matted i do end up having to play around with them just a little bit first i take off the white edges from this photo that didn't quite print four by six 
and I'm going to go ahead and get it matted. And I think I might have accidentally cut one of those papers, not quite four and a quarter by six and a quarter. I must have goofed. But anyway, it works out fine because that one there, once I cut off the white edges, it fit perfectly. This one here, I'm going to have to go ahead and um, trim down because it's too big. And you'll see I have the same issue with this one. This one I end up taking a total of a half an inch off the photo to get it to fit onto this mat. And that ends up being okay because I needed for these photos to actually be the same height so that they line up perfectly on my layout. This layout is very simple. It's a two page, but it ends up being very, very simple, which works out because, you know, it's nice to have a simple layout. I get quite a bit of embellishments on it. I get some beautiful pattern paper on it and I've told the story. So to me, that's what's important. So here is where I'm kind of playing around with the location of the photos again. And I realize I just really want to line up the vertical photos all the way across the layout. This one here is the one that is too tall. So I'm going to cut off an half an inch off the top of the photo because that's where I have the ability to do that without affecting who is in the photo. And then it fits um, on the mat and then I'm going to trim the mat back down as well. I really like this small We Are Memory Keepers um, trimmer. It's great for just doing photos. It doesn't take up so much space while I'm recording and it, and it is easy, pretty easy to use. So now I'm going to start building this layout. First, we're going to start with this house that says family on it. And I'm going to be using this as a base for my title. And it will end up saying family fun, because I'm going to put the word fun from the alpha set here on top of it. I love that this alpha matches this kit so well. I think that the reason why this set of alphas isn't in one of my hip kits because I think I used up all of the papers already and so that is all that I had left and it got put in with my thickers. I'm going to take this large wreath of flowers here and I'm going to put it underneath the corner of the, that le far left photo. I'm going to be moving the photos down a little bit so that there's space for that little wreath. I love putting stuff like this on my layout. It just kind of calls attention to photos and um, creates great visual interest. So I've also put that little curved banner that says good vibes. And here's another little phrase piece. It says enjoy the little things. This was just a small family outing that we took in late May of 2016. And, you know, sometimes you just enjoy the small things. This wasn't an expensive trip. It was just something that was fun and that we really enjoyed doing. So, you know, I, I thought the phrase was appropriate. It also, there's a piece down on the bottom that says together. Right now, it's a really small flag that says together. I'm gonna switch it out. Um, as I'm putting the, the acetate pieces back into the baggie, I discover the word together that's a little bit bigger and I decided that was more appropriate. I also added a scalloped border underneath my focal photo. It is gold, so it's kind of reflecting funky underneath the lights there, but it looks really good in, in person and you'll be able to see the close-ups at the end of the video as well. And so I think for the most part, I'm just kind of digging through the embellishments in this collection, trying to decide what I would like to use. And this time I'm actually pulling pieces out one at a time and looking at them and putting them away as I go so that I don't waste a whole lot of time. So at this point, I'm still digging through this pack of ephemera, trying to decide what pieces I'm going to use. Normally I already have I have already done this off camera, but I was in a hurry and I wanted to get this going. So I'm just kind of picking and choosing some things to use. I don't know if you saw me pulled pull out the sleeping kitty cat piece. I pulled that out and I will be leaving it out because 
I will use it for another layout. A lot of times hip kit includes kitty cats in their kits and I love that and but then I forget to use them so since I saw this one and I know that I have a picture of Jasper curled up like a cinnamon roll sleeping I pulled it so that I would be able to use it for the, whatever layout that I create with those photos. So I've pulled out all of the hearts from this ephemera pack. I found a circular die cut with journaling lines, a couple of flowers, a couple of butterflies, and that is what is going to end up on this page for now. Next, I opened up the pack of, of floral ephemera pieces, and I'm going to pull out a few pieces of the flowers and use them on this layout as well. At this point, I don't think I need a whole lot, but I was just trying to decide which pieces that I want to use, and I have them poured out on the table next to me, and I know you can't really see me digging, but... I thought I would save you the trouble of watching me dig through all of them. And I think I only pull out three flowers and the leafy bit that I tucked under the yellow one. And now I'm just kind of getting the little um, hearts where I want them to go. And I'm kind of switching around colors and sizes a little bit as I go, just trying to make some decisions. And I'm happy with where it's at here. All right, I got this layout completely done off camera. I added these two pieces of the um, green paper. I used the pink bit to bring a little more pink to this side and just to have both sh um, patterns on each side. Otherwise, you saw everything that I did. I added some fun foam under some of the embellishments to make them level. Same with this photo. I put a little bit of fun foam on, on this side so that it would be level because I put that piece of chipboard underneath it. Got my journaling down, popped up some things with foam adhesive, and that's it. It is done. I want to thank you for being here with me today. I really appreciate all of you who take the time to like, comment, and or subscribe. Please, if you are not a subscriber and you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe below. And if you have any comments or questions about this layout, drop those below as well. And I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Make sure that you check out this playlist that is listed below as well. There's some amazing creators in this hop. You will be amazed at some of the inspiration that you receive. I know I always am. You have a great rest of your day. Bye.